Hi, welcome to my video on extra problem number three pertaining to the hyperbola. So I made up this question to help you think. And again, it's always good to make up extra questions to help you think because that's what math is all about, thinking and using the math that's in your background to help you work out the problem. It says, find the equation of the hyperbola in general form. If the slope of one of the asymptotes is a half, the asymptotes have y-intercepts of 5 and 1, and that the vertex, one of the ver vertex, vertices is 4 or 5. So you want to find the equation in general form. So we have to find the transformation of form first and then change it to the general. So let's see. You see I have two graphs there. Because... You have, an as you have a slope of a half. Now we know that the other slope is a negative half because they have one asymptote is positive, the other one is negative, and they both pass through, both asymptotes pass through the center. And it has y-intercepts of five and one. So the one, let's take this one. The y-intercept is five, and the y-intercept is one. That's easy. But I have two graphs. So what I don't know, if if the asymptote is going through the 5 to be positive, so if it goes through 5 here positive, that means it must go through this one to be negative. Or, if it goes through the 5 negative, then it must go through the 1 to be positive. So I don't know which is which. I do know the vertex, vertex one of the vertex, vertices is 4, 5. So there's the vertex right there at 4, 5. So this is 4, comma 5. So let's draw that information. So we have 1 going through the 5. So let's pretend it's positive. So it's up 1, right 2. So it's right there. Or we go down 1, left 2. Down 1, left 2. So this is the positive one. So it's going through one, but it's negative. So that means it goes down one, right two, down one, right two. Or it can go up one, left two, up one, left two. So that means this, these two vertices, these two asymptotes intersect We get it drawn down. Notice there's a broken line because the asymptotes are not a part of the graph and they intersect right here. So this intersection is the point negative 4, 3. So notice that x is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3. But the vertex, one of the vertices, is right here. So this can't be because this vertex is if 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 this is the center that the vertex has got to be on the horizontal axis which is not or got to be on the vertical axis which is not so this can't be so that means that this is not right so that means it must be a negative a half going through the five so we go down one right two down one, right two. Notice now we're lining up. So this is the transverse. This is the asymptote, I should say, not the transverse. This is the asymptote coming through the five, but it's negative. And now it's going to the one positive, so it's up one, right two, up one, right two. So this is the asymptote. That's positive, and they both intersect at this point here, which is the point 4, comma 3. And notice now that the vertex is 4, comma 5. So notice the x coordinates are the same here, and the y's are uh, up and down. So this is this looks like the right one. This is not correct, so we can't have this one. So this is the correct one right here. Now, if we have 
this point so we we by graphing it we found these points but another way is that we have to go this is the point of intersection so this center so the graph helps us so the center is four comma three we could have wrote the two asymptotes out here and solved them so I could have done y equals and again this is the negative slope so it's a negative a half x plus five and the other asymptote is y equals a positive a half and the plus one so these are the two so if we, if we solve both of these take those two equations and go a negative a half x plus five a half x plus one multiply through by 2 we get negative x plus 10 equals x plus 2 negative x minus x equals 2 minus 10 negative 2x is negative 8 divided by negative 2 x is equal to 4 so if x is equal to 4 then we go um, y equals a half x plus 1 so x is a 4 half of 4 is 2 so y is 3 so that means that these two asymptotes intersect at 4 3 so I could have you know again by graphing them you can see that the center is much easier to get at 4 3 because of the two different asymptotes and the two different slopes so we have a center now we have a center but what we have to do now is that you we have uh, notice the vertex the vertex is at four five and the center C is at four three that means the stretch here is two so from there to there is two units two up we could have the other vertices it must be down here at two right here but we have is a vertical stretch so that means that b must be two so that means that b squared is four so how do we get the a well we know that the slope is a half and we know the slope is the b over the a so the b is 2 so there's 2 over a so that means that 2 over a must be 1 half cross multiply 1 times a is a 2 times 2 is 4 so a is 4 so we got b is 2 a is 4 and notice this is a vertical so that means the y is first and the x is second equal to 1 so what happens we have the center is four, th four, three. so the y is first so it's y minus 3 x minus 4 because it's the opposite and the y is first because the vert the transverse axis is the vertical so the b is 2 so this is b squared so that's a 4 a is 4 so 4 squared so that's a 16 so this is the equation in transformational form so we'll work that out to be this standard form or what we call a general form sorry the LCD is 16 so we multiply by 16 and we have no fractions so 4 and 16 goes 4 so we get 4 y minus 3 squared 16 to 16 goes 1 so we get x minus 4 squared 1 times 16 is 16 we square first so we get 4 and we get y squared minus 6y plus 9 minus square the binomial first term is x being squared product doubled is negative 8x and 4 squared is 16 equals 16 
multiply by 4, 4y four squared minus 24y plus 36. And we're subtracting, so we'd add on the opposite. So it's a negative x squared plus 8x minus 16 equals 16. And again, we're subtracting. We put a 1 here and multiply by negative 1 and get these signs. And in general form, we put the x first, the x squared first, then the y squared, then the x, and then the y, and then the constants, 36 minus 16 minus 16 equals 0. So we have a negative x squared plus 4y squared plus 8x minus 24y plus 4 equals 0. And we have the equation in general form. This is the transformational form right here. As you can see it without the 16s because we're trying to eliminate the fractions. There's the general form. And again, a nice question, but I had what I had to do when I thought about making you know, help me think. I had to make up a scenario where, again, it's not straightforward. You have to think about it. And this is a good question. So that brings us to the end of this video. And again, if you like my video, click on the like button. If you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content also that I have on my YouTube channel, because I have a YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Okay, thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video was of some help to you, because we always try to do different types of questions to help you think. Bye-bye.